Have you ever wanted a powerful PC at home, but also have the flexibility to bring it anywhere? Cadiz just released the Cadiz Mind that achieves this through modularity. They sponsored this video to show their adorably small PC that can also turn into a gaming PC or have a ton of IO through this pretty novel hot pluggable PCIe slot. The Caddis Mind is the computer and it can operate on its own without anything else. It's only 146 millimeters along the longer edge and 20 millimeters thick. It's also pretty light at just 450 grams. It's about the same size as a game controller, so it's very easy to carry this around. You can put this thing just about anywhere and I think it would make for a great media PC. Also, I've never seen an Intel-based mini PC that's this small. Overall, the Mind is very solid feeling and it's really nicely packaged as well. The box it comes in is very compact the mine comes wrapped in this paper material that feels very satisfying to peel off. And it also comes with a brick and a nice braided USB-C cable. It also has a good selection of IO for its size with two USB-C ports, two 10 gigabit per second USB-A ports and an HDMI 2.0 port. It can drive 4K displays at 60 Hertz and even up to an 8K display at 30 Hertz. Both of the USB-C ports also support power delivery and display port alt mode. So if your monitor supports those as well, then you can set it up with just one cable. And it's got a wide power button in the front that lights up. But this computer can have way more IO ports if you need them through an expansion dock that connects through what they call the Mind Link, which is essentially a hot pluggable PCIe 5.0 slot that can do 32 giga transfers per second per lane. It looks delicate, but they rated it for over 10,000 plug and unplugs. So they're planning on building out a whole ecosystem based on this connector to enable modular computing. I also have the Mind Dock IO module that adds many more ports to the Mind, a 2.5 gig Ethernet port, two HDMI 2.0 ports, three 5 gigabit per second USB-A ports, there's two on the back and one on the front, an SD card reader, and it even comes with a headphone jack. The dock also has a USB-C port for power. But not just ports, the Mind Dock also adds a fingerprint scanner and a volume control knob that feels really satisfying to turn. Even power can be fed through the Mind Link connector, so you can just plug everything you need into the dock, including the monitors, and if you need the Mind on the go, you can just lift it off its base. There are pretty strong magnets to hold it in place, and it feels quite satisfying. The dock also has built-in speakers, which sounds surprisingly not bad. Definitely better than my monitor speakers by far. And this dock is also very thin and light. They're planning on releasing many other interesting accessories that will take advantage of the Mind Link. One of them is a GPU dock called Mind Graphics, which will have an RTX 4060 Ti. So when the mind is docked onto this, this system will be a powerful workstation or gaming PC while still being extremely compact. Another accessory that I think will be super cool is a display module, which they're calling Mind X Play. You can attach the mind to it and use it like a tablet. And unlike other mini PCs, the Caddis Mind has a battery built in. So it makes transferring between different accessories in the ecosystem really easy since you can just put it to sleep and then attach it to another accessory. But of course, the battery also lets you bring the mind somewhere else and resume without having to reboot the device. And this really helps make it feel more portable, just like a laptop. But the battery is quite small at just 5.55 watt hours. So you really cannot run it on just battery for that long. It's estimated to last around 20 minutes on battery, which should give you enough time to save any important data if there's a power outage. However, it supports up to 25 hours of use time in sleep mode and over 48 hours of use time in hibernate mode. So it should be enough time to get to the places you're going. Another advantage this provides over a conventional mini PC is the aluminum chassis, which is more durable for moving around. The design is also very minimal with just a small Caddis logo on the top. On the two sides are vents and two strips of rubber feet at the bottom to keep it steady. There's also an NVMe SSD slot that supports the super small M.2 2230 SSD. It's pretty incredible that a tiny computer has this since you can easily and cheaply add up to two terabytes of storage. The dock is also mostly aluminum with with a very large rubber pad at the bottom. This helps it to be very solid on the table and it matches the mind very well aesthetically. And I feel like this entire system looks very clean on the desk and takes up very little space. The configuration for the mind that I have uses an i7 1360p processor with 32 gigs of LPDDR5 RAM and one terabyte of storage. It's pretty fast for such a tiny package. The 1360p has 12 cores and 16 threads and performs comparably to the laptops with the same CPU that I've tested in the past. 
tasks. So for daily tasks, the mind is really good. It's super snappy for web browsing and puts out pretty impressive speedometer numbers. It can play back 8K videos without dropping frames and handles some light gaming as well. For being this small, it only thermal throttles a tiny bit when running a 20 minute stress test, which is better than most laptops even. And it's surprisingly quiet as well, both when idling and running heavier things. Apparently they put in a pretty large heatsink with copper fins inside. I think this concept of modular computer system has a lot of potential. You can leave the heavy GPU at home and go to work with just the mind. If you have a monitor at work, it can really save some weight for the commute. And when their screen, the X play comes out, you can just dock the mind to it and use it like a tablet on the go. I think it would be super nice to finally have all the files in one place. I hope they continue to support this ecosystem. And if you're interested, be sure to check it out at the link in the description. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe. You can follow me on TikTok and Instagram for more content and you can watch more here.